Before we start the um, proceedings this evening, I'd like you all to stand uh, for a minute of silence um, for our Tonight, and I will be making sure that that happens. Um, I'm now going to ask uh, 
embarrassing. Members, the fact is the parents of Lindell, the people behind me, they don't expect any special treatment, they don't expect to be cast above the rest. All they are asking for is that their children are safe and happy in a loving learning environment which suits their needs and which improves the quality of their lives. Chair, this basic right is afforded to them by the Lindell School and they will show you tonight that any other option is simply an inadequate imitation <coughs> of the fantastic Lindell family which they have painstakingly created. Chair, it is my hope that members this evening reside from the entrenched position of any political group and instead we focus on a commitment I know all members share, a commitment to our borough, a commitment to preserve all that is good about this borough and it is surely this commitment that will lead the committee to urge the cabinet to think again at the end of its deliberations. Thanks, Chair. Um, um, now can I ask um, Tony Smith? You have five minutes also, Tony. And again, if you just keep your eye on me, I'll give you a, a nod when you've got a minute left. consideration to the representations made on the board and give further consideration to the options contained in the cabinet report put before it. In considering this position and the subsequent decision, have the cabinet listened very carefully to the representations made by parents of the Lindell School. The options it considered arose over months of discussion and debate about future provision and how it might support children with profound and multiple learning difficulties. During the course of the consultation, new options emerged which were, which were considered to. A lengthy public consultation was carried out by officers of the council, which included six public meetings. These meetings at different times and venues were intended to provide maximum opportunity for the public and all the school communities to make representations, comment, and to raise concerns about the proposal put forward and the options contained within the consultation document. This wide consultation allowed members of the public, professional bodies, parents, schools, governors, and many others to, to respond to the council with their views. The process was open and transparent, with officers of the council questioned and challenged about their proposal. Officers of the council, council met with people who wanted to discuss the proposal in more detail, and officers responded to many letters and other representations throughout this period. I believe every effort was made to consult as fully as some members of Parliament also made their views known, along with members of the Council. Many members took the opportunity to visit the five primary and secondary schools, supporting children and young people with complex learning difficulties, including those children with profound and multiple learning difficulties. I want to also acknowledge the time and commitment of the parents of children attending the Lindale School who are vigorously involved in the process and respect their determination to present such a strong advocacy for their children. In considering all the factors, I took into account that this council has a responsibility to manage the efficient use of resources and finances. This will sometimes mean that difficult and unpopular decisions need to be taken. The Lindale School is recognised as a good school for the pupils it supports. However, there have been concerns about the falling numbers of pupils enrolled for a number of years. And this, along with the changes in further 
in further in, in future national funding arrangements have given cause of concern about the future viability of the school. It is my view that the Council must now grasp the nettle on the question of the future of this school, which has been in doubt for so long. We need to end the uncertainty for the parents, and the future parents, the staff, parents, staff, and the wider community. It is my view that world's high quality primary and secondary schools have the capacity to provide for the current children of the Mindell School. And thanks to you, Tony. Um, at this point, we've got a, a short video which the parents have asked um, to be shown. But that's